What's going on everybody? Tyler here. It's the off season and it's time for me to break out my bases and clean them up and get them ready for this coming year. But while I was doing that, I figured I'd show them off to you and let you guys know what I'm working with this year. First of all, you can see the, uh, the F base in the back. That's my main base. We'll get to that last. I want to start off with my workhorse right here. Good old faithful Fender Jazz Base. Yeah, there we go. I played 409 gigs last year and I would say this bass right here counted for about a hundred of them at least. I play about four or five days a week at a beach bar here in Myrtle Beach and uh, that's a lot, a lot of the part of the reason why I don't want to play the F bass there is because you're constantly having your stuff get rusted, uh, sometimes it rains, sometimes people are drinking alcohol and they spill their beer all over you. Whatever the situation may be, I've found that this is the best base for me to rely on when I'm just trying to make the extra dough. You can see slightly on the saddles and uh, on the single coil pickups that there's some rust building up in there. But um, that's kind of just the nature of the business. I've had this base for almost eight years and it's, got, it's getting a lot of the outside gigs, I should say. Um, Nonetheless, it's it's an incredible bass. It works well for me. I got this bass from a buddy of mine. His name is Rob, and uh, he actually bought this bass and a P bass at the same time, and decided that uh, he he liked the P bass better. So I actually had my one of my basses. I'm going to show you it went out on me when I was at a gig, and uh, I reached out to my friend Rob, and he told me that I could borrow this bass, and uh, he let me borrow it, and didn't really ever ask for it back. And eventually, a couple years later, I made an offer to him. And he let me keep it, which I'm very grateful for because, like I mentioned, this accounts for about 25% of the gigs that I play. This is an American Standard Jazz Bass made in the USA. That's the American part. And uh, got a little special thing on this bass right here. If you know, you know. Bass number two. Let's check out this bass right here. Now, this bass... You may not have seen as many of. This bass right here is called a Honer. It's got a nice little H on there. It is a six string bass. It's a, uh, you know, it, it's, I really don't know a lot about this bass other than the fact that it's got a rosewood neck. Um, it's got some sort of wood going through the back of it that uh, I don't really think, it, it might not even be wood, it might just be a, a paint job or something. This was my father's bass. This was actually the first bass that I started playing on which uh, was a beast learning on a six string, but I'm glad that I started on a six string and ended up playing five strings and four strings because it's kind of like I did all the heavy lifting in the beginning, literally, because this bass weighs about 12 or 13 pounds. Um, but other than that, I really don't use this bass a whole lot unless I'm just kind of writing chordal bass music, which I never do, <laughs> but uh, you have that option if you need the, the C string. You got this bass right here in the arsenal, which is a, a great bass. Thanks, Dad, for my first bass, the Honer bass. This bass right here is a Harley Benton. Harley Benton bass, yes. This is my cheap O bass, but regardless of the price tag, which I think I only paid 100 bucks for it. I bought it off a drummer of mine, um, a drummer friend of mine, but uh, I think he bought it brand new for 120 bucks. It's kind of got that Music Man style with the big bridge, big bridge pickup, you know? And uh, why I like this bass, it's a really good backup bass. I actually leave this at work. I work six nights a week at Legends in Concert during the off, during the on season. We start back March 1st. And uh, this is the bass that kind of just hangs up on the wall. If I ever have an issue with my, my main bass, my F bass, this is the bass I grabbed. I think I only had to play this on the show two or three times, but it didn't miss a beat. It's always working and, and it's really cool. It's got this nice black finish, feels nice on the neck, quick, quick neck, and it's a five string, which I have to have at the show because I figure that uh, in theater applications, I gotta have the B string. Gotta have that low B, rumble people in their seats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah! Cool little pick guard. I actually think it came with that. It came looking pretty cool. Look, that's a sharp bass. Look at that thing. We're going to be doing a giveaway uh, when I hit a thousand subs. When I hit a thousand subs, I'm going to give away this bass. So uh, 
be on the lookout for that. And for the moment that you've been waiting for. Boom, boom, boom. Shikoo! This is an F bass. This is specifically an F bass B in five. And uh, I gotta tell you, I love this bass. I would say this bass is what what kind of took me from, you know, being a student into being an actual professional. And that that's that's on so many levels than just one. It's not just because I was a student when I bought it, but also because I just feel like, well, first of all, this was the first bass and only bass that I've actually custom spec'd out. I decided what I wanted on it, which if you look in it, if you're, if you're familiar with that bass, I didn't do a whole lot of specking out on it. I pretty much just took the standard BN5 model and uh, decided I wanted to go with an ebony fretboard because when I was when I was in college, I just thought that, that that's all that you could use. A um, little bit more about the bass. First of all, F bass is made in Canada. Look at that cool headstock. I mean, that's cool. It looks great, doesn't it? I love the two up, three down. F bass is made in Canada. This particular unit comes with uh, a three piece maple neck. Let's see if you can see that in the camera. You can kind of see that looks cool. Yes, you can see the three piece maple neck. You can even see where I'm using the heck out of it. And uh, I'm getting a little bit of a stain there. I mean, I'm getting a lot of stain. Let's see, can you even see? Yeah, I use this bass a ton. Like I said, I'm the musical director of Legends in Concert bass here in Myrtle Beach, and uh, this is my nightly bass. I play this bass six nights a week from March 1st all the way through. We had our last show December 31st. We brought in the new year, all links signed, the whole shebang, and uh, that was done with this bass. You'll see this bass featured mostly on this channel just because not only do I feel like I connect with this instrument the most, but also I'm trying to get sponsored by F bass. So F bass, if you hear this, I'm ready for bass number two. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So well, I mean, I'll tell you the story real fast before I before I wrap up. I bought this bass basically as a graduation present to myself, which uh, which was really an important moment for me when I was in college. You know, you're spending all this money learning how to play, learning how to read music and whatever you decide to go to college for. I went to college for commercial music and jazz. It was a fantastic experience. And uh, I took my last refund check and I ordered this bass. It took them nine months to send it to me. So I actually received it, I believe, two or three months before graduation. So it just felt nice having something like this that I can rely on going into the workforce because that was now five years ago since I graduated. Um, this bass has not gone out on me one time. The jack is always perfect. It, it, there's not a single thing wrong with it. And uh, I'm glad that I went with this because I, I looked at a lot of different basses before I pulled the trigger on this. Everything from MTD, Fodera's, which we all know I could get two of these for the price of one Fodera. So that's another reason why I picked this. You know, all the great basses that we know and love, Ken Smith, whatever it may be. I'm happy I picked that bass. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. I just wanted to talk about the bases that I'll be using this year. Thank you guys for tuning in and be on the lookout for some more videos. See ya.